What is up, my friends? You are very welcome along to our social media reaction here on Anfield Agenda Clips. This video will be coming up on this channel after every single game. We're going to be reacting to your posts on X and the Echo comment section during the game. People love to say to me at times that I overreacted in certain moments. Well, we thought we'd turn the tables a bit and see how the Liverpool fans have reacted to certain moments during the game. So we're going to go through them one by one, asking you guys to let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Drop a like on the video and please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed here to the Anfield Agenda Clips channel. So first up, who have we got? It's Mr. Jack Gill. How are we, Jack? I hope that life is treating you well. Lovely to see you. I say lovely to see you, mate. Lovely to see your comment. So Jack has said, credit where it's due, as I've given him a lot of stick recently. Gakpo's best performance for a while, that. Absolutely delighted for him that he scored as well. Think he needed that. Uh, I agree, Jack. He's been getting a lot of criticism from certain people in the Liverpool fan base. And I'm not saying it isn't justified at times. But what I'm saying is, for me... I view him as the fifth choice striker, so I don't really hold him to the same standard that I would for a Jota, a Darwin, a Salah, a Diaz. But that being said, I agree with what you've said. This should be a great confidence boost for him. What I liked about the goal, Jack, was that he told Robbo where he wanted it. Robbo delivered with a beautiful cross and Cody did the rest and he wheeled away in celebration. And I hope it gives him the confidence boost that he deserves because we need everybody pulling in the same direction for the remainder of the campaign. So thank you for your comment, Jack. Next one up, it's Liam. And Liam has posted on X to say, Darwin Nunes has 30 goals and assists so far this season and he still has a few gears to go through. He was brilliant again today and that goal, it's one of those, Liam, where... You might close that keeper down and once in a hundred that happens. But we needed that one in a hundred today. And that's why we love Darwin so much. He chases lost causes. He never gives up. He's got that fighting mentality and he's got that dog in him as well. So great comment. And as you said, 30 goals and assists. Nothing wrong with that at all. Who's up next? Laurie has said, I don't even care. Alexis McAllister is the signing of the season. Player of the season and the best midfielder in the world. He's so, so complete. I do love a bit of an overreaction in a positive way, I mean. And uh, yeah, let's give Alexis McAllister all the flowers he deserves because that was his Stevie G moment. That was his Olympiacos moment or West Ham FA Cup final moment. The ball dropped and Alexis buried it. And when I say buried it, I mean buried it. Couldn't have placed it any further in the top corner. And like Laurie said, he is an incredible signing, an incredible midfielder and just seemingly an incredible fella as well. He is our number 10, he's our Messi, he's our Luka Modric and I'm looking forward to many more years of Alexis McAllister dominating in that Liverpool midfield. What a player, what a signing, what a man. Next up we've got Barry. Barry said last season no Liverpool midfielder hit 10 goals and assists. Alexis McAllister has had 10 goals and assists in his last 10 games. Isn't that a lovely change Barry because... You are right. For years, we didn't get enough goals or assists from midfield. But this year, it's changing. And Alexis McAllister, in that more advanced position, he just looks at home. He looks like he's just purring out there, just full of confidence for club and country. What a player. I mean, everything that gets said about Alexis today, he deserves. You could see how he was beaming with pride after the game as well when he was being interviewed. He's just incredible. Anything you say about him, I'm not going to argue with because he's just brilliant. Uh, next up, uh, Clark O'Hugh, 12, on the Echo comment section said, Struggled against Forest, Brighton, and now this shower, we don't deserve the title. Uh, we do. Yes, we do struggle sometimes against poor opposition, but that's because we struggle against a low block. And it is frustrating, but if Ruben Amram comes in next year, he knows how to implement a low block, and I'm hoping he'll have a way to help us break down a low block but what you've neglected to say there is we beat Forest, we beat Brighton we beat Sheffield United that sounds like we deserve to win the league to me we don't make it easy but we get it done and as long as we can continue winning it is in our own hands so I'm going to slightly disagree with you, we definitely do deserve to win it next up said Headlock FC said not the best performance but who cares it's three points and back top where the Reds always look better than the rest, yep Manchester City did their job yesterday. Arsenal did their job. So the pressure was put back on us tonight. Yeah, it was a fairly handy fixture against Sheffield United. But when it got to 1-1, one, one, 
we could have crumbled. We could have let the pressure get to us. And we didn't. We are back top of the league. And if we go to Old Trafford and win on Sunday, I think we win the league. That's where I'm at. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Right, we have another couple of comments to go. Uh, Danio72000 UK said, Nice change to have a decent ref, non-biased and didn't miss much. Yeah, I agree. A um, couple of little things, but look, refs are human. They're going to miss the odd foul here or there. But all in all, I do think, yeah, he ref the game very well. Didn't see any favouritism towards either side. Didn't see any dramas with them. Just went about his business. And that's what referees should be. They're there to be in the background, not to dictate how the games end up. So I agree very much with Daniel's comment there. Referee today definitely is in the uh, far more palatable referee performances that we've seen this season. And last up, we have uh, Clark OQ12 again, who said Gerard himself would have been proud of that. Well, it was very Gerard-esque, wasn't it? I mean, rifled it in. I, I used that far stronger swear word when he scored, but my God, what a strike from Alexis. And then he rattled the bar as well with a free kick. Did come off the top of the wall. Maybe it was going in if he didn't take that nick. But all in all, folks, we got the job done. Eight more games to go. And we know that if we keep winning... Nobody can stop us. Thank you for watching. We really do appreciate all of your support of the channel. If you're watching this tonight on Thursday, don't forget Friday morning, the tickets are going on sale on Ticketmaster for the Belfast and Dublin show. Can't wait to come and meet you guys in person. Thank you for your support. Look forward to reading your comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.